getting our game into an umbrella. That's our umbrella project, and I believe our tests are working. So this is tree here. Oops. Um, so it looks like we're in the root of it. So we can just do mix um, test dash dash cover, and we'll get our test coverage. Hmm. I think. So the same as mixed coveralls. Umbrella. Okay, so it seems to be the same thing. And then we can run our dialyzer. Um, Miz. So we've got a lot of things kind of coming together again. So what I want to do is I want to look at um, the apps game server lib game server models and we've got uh, tr tr battle unit ex so we've got a struct and so we're going to do we're going to start adding um, type specs to these so we can do as we do at type so we're going to what this does is this works with the dialyzer um, in order to make things work. So I think we want to do think that'll type specs and behaviors. So this is what we're working on here. So what we do is we put these type specs on our code and the dialyzer can uh, validate them. So in this case we do type and we do, I'm sorry, spec and then we pass it the types that we're going to receive. So this is going to be a player type. I think that's going to be, we might have to define that. So you can define our own. But since this is a struct, I think it'll just work. And so, um, this is going to be, I think it's just going to be integer, integer, integer. That's one, two, three, integer, and a Boolean. I think what we need to do is actually need to go to the docs. If you type there's a canonical list that tells you all the different types you can use. Let's try um spec. <clears throat> Still not what we need. So we can do Erlang type spec. And here we go. Here's all of our types that we can use. So here we have any none pid port reference, we've got an empty list, add a missing float function, integer list, and I think I think that's a better here we go, this is better. So we need capital integer. There we go. Even the, the editor is happy with that. I think the only thing that's weird is the is hero, which is a boolean. I think that would need to come in as an atom. 
what I think we can do is we can do um, define our own type like this and So here's all the different things. Is there anything for Boolean? So it looks like we could do this. Let's try it. It's only one way to find out. We would say, say false or true. And then we need a return, which is going to be the player. Okay, so that's our first one we have there. So we're going to just run the dialyzer. And it seems to be a success. Now that doesn't really mean anything right now. I don't think I saved it anyways. Line 17, undefined. Oh, so you actually have to do what's that part. Why are you doing this to me? Uh, there we go. Spec assign unit to player. So it has an unknown type, which is games for model player. And so there's a way to define our own type. Um, it's right here. Those behaviors. So I think, I wonder if there's a quickie understanding on this. If we could do, um, Send this down. We're going to do elixir dialyzer custom type. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to say struct type. And so now, as our specs, a type. So Looks like we could do type player, and that's going to be a map. Let's see if that does the trick. This is what we're running into right here, right? Unknown types. So yeah, unknown types. Let's again sort of models player. So Find a good example here. I thought there was, here we go, struct. Is this the same thing? Okay, yeah. Literals. So it looks like, I wonder if we can do this. Comment this out. And we're going to do um, 
wonder if that shouldn't that shouldn't work. Type dict. See here. Thought. So here's this arg as guards. Let's go back to this. So player, and this is going to be player. If that does it, nope. Okay, so I won't even compile. Good game server utils. I'll make sure we have our player model. Okay, so that's in there. Okay. Hmm. We need a little bit more. It's finding a type. Type name. Built in types. I guess we'll just try struct. So I'll just do struct. Type, no function calls type six variable one. Let's try this. T. Okay. Invalid type specification. Did we pick the hardest one to start with? It looks like we did. The one that has the least amount of information that we need. Okay, so. So here's the basic types. The following levels are also supported in type specs. So it looks like I wonder if we can do this. I don't think that'll I think that doesn't really make sense. And type vera is using yeah, so it thinks it's a variable. So let's comment this out again. And we're gonna do player that it just doesn't feel right hmm. yeah still saying unknown type The same thing. No, this is actually something different. Let's 
so user defined so that it should be we should be able to do this This should be a thing. But it doesn't seem to work. Built in type, none. So these are some cool things. Type and type. Any map or map with some struct. This seems like it should work. Find as I don't know. Once we get the first one, it'll be easy. Type dict key value. I don't really have a lot of information on creating on types. That's for sure. Elixir custom type. That's still here we go. Those are all specs. That's not what we want. Custom types. Type. So it doesn't actually tell us how to use it. <laughs> it's giving us part of the story. <laughs> so let's try this player. Player. And this is going to be player. So still can't figure it out. Unknown types. We do game server models. Oh, this is the problem. I want to change this back to capital player. Let's change this to that. Hmm. I guess I have to have lowercase. So I'm making this back down to lowercase. Learning is fun. Yeah, lowercase it is. So there we got it. So now we can do start link, we'll say spec. Uh, start link ID is integer. Go player again. Integer 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 false or true. Unit stats is going to be type unit stats. It's a struct unit stats. Unit stats. 
and this returns a battle unit. Battle unit. Type battle unit. Battle unit. Okay. Um, so this actually doesn't return a battle unit. Initial state. This returns OK and a PID or error on string. All right, so. The battle unit is unable to dialyze. What we're going to do is edit apps game server ed, game server models battle unit. Oh, what? I am the battle unit? Okay. 920. Weird, okay. So type specification balance, assigning unit to player, player G is a super type of a success typing. Okay. Not sure what that is trying to tell me yet. But seemed to be less upset the absence of this. So let's go back to this and see what's... Let's do the easy ones first. Set player. This is going to be a player. And it's going to return uh, no reply. Spec for undefined function set player one. I think because we're using X actor, there's some magic going on here. So I think we need to do PID. So that did help. Six typing is Adam Pid So we can do 
Sid or Adam. I wonder if that'll help. Okay, it's this is kind of so this would be Adam and nothing or via Adam and actually I think we could do here that we do any any or any. And this returns OK. I think that's what it's trying to tell me. Sure, what this is. So, via Adam. Compilation error on function. Well, dialyzing, I pick, definitely pick the hardest one to start with. Definitely pick the hardest one to start with here. So, compilation error. Spec set player. So we got PID Adam. Adam, I wonder if we do this. That's the same as that. Hmm. Spec for undefined set player. It seemed to have been okay when I did it this way. Okay, so that seemed to have cleared it up, so let's try this one. Spec set position, pid integer, integer. This is going to be a cast, so that should be okay. There we go, looking better. Set target. Position, pid, integer, integer, 
Okay. All right. Spec set busy. Head false or true. And that's a cast as well. Okay, and get unit. So this one should be spec get unit pid, and this will return a battle unit. Did we define it? We did. I wonder if we could do this. I think I might like that better. So that does work. Make sure this is saving. So we can do these any of these two types. We can do battle unit or we can do battle unit. Okay, I think I like this better. We do patch player. Yeah, let's stick with what we got. Okay, so now we gotta visit this one. So this is def start. It looks like it returns some interesting things. Okay. So this one gets upset because it's referencing it says it's a problem at line twenty, which doesn't make sense. So if we do, let's see here, id player unit type position x z false or true unit stats. I should turn OK PID or error string. So if we do, it still doesn't like it. There we go. So, assign unit to player. So, this was strange. Okay, let's go back to this. And we're going to go to here. And we're going to run this. I think, oh, you know what? It might. No? So, that's okay. So we go to this. And it gets upset about it. So type specification unit ID, unit type, position X, position Z. False true returns a player. Battle unit start link, so the, this. Oh, I see. So the problem is, is we could actually run into this failing to start. So like it's saying that like we're not handling status and message. Right. 
and therefore we have a lot of problems to solve. Success is we're not handling all the states. So what we could do is we can pipe this start link into unit created and we're going to do fp unit created this is going to be a tuple of ok and pid do and this is our success case. P. And I think we're going to need more stuff. We're going to need our units and our player and our unit ID and that should be it. So here we're going to have our units, player, unit ID. And here is a def p unit created error message. And we don't care about the rest. Which we could still return the player. And I'm going to say inspect message player. Do we have a logger? I think we have a logger. We got that. Logger dot debug. That seems like it should work. Type specification, looks against your models, battling assigning sign unit to player. Player to data is a super type of the six success typing of the battle unit. Battle unit assign unit to player. I don't see the problem. Let's do this. Player. Let's see if it lets us do that. So yeah, this is definitely our problem. So that's that. You say these things. So it's saying we need to have error. And
struct elitor. So if we do player equals that. Darn it. This is a lot harder than it looks I'm trying to make this happy. It's a super type. If we do this, spec unit created. Okay. Head. Units would be this of PID player integer, and that returns a player. Is a super type of the success typing. Oh my gosh, I just don't know what it's trying to tell me. Why won't there we go? I don't understand why it's this is not happy for it. It's like saying that like because we're calling this, that could make the other one fail. That's what it seems like. I don't know why. Okay, so this is a problem. I created expression versus value type, but it's unmatched. Line forty five. Um, it still doesn't like this. Sign in into player. Player integer 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 true or false. Player is a super type of the success typing of it just like calls itself. I wonder is it saying that like I can't I wonder if I, if I just do this. Okay. No. Let me do this. I don't get why it's not working. 
of a super type of a success typing See so if the internet says something. Oops, that's not going to work. Erlang. Not sure. As I explained, the warning is related to the fact that these functions only accept non empty binaries. Hmm? I'm not sure I understand that. Fix for non empty list for super type of success typing. Non empty list. Okay. Okay. Getting into success types. Oh wow, okay. I'm gonna have to read this on my own because this could be pretty boring to watch. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna keep digging into this and uh, hopefully I'll have an answer for you guys tomorrow. Happy coding, see you then.